Hey, uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So today I will be, I will be, sh I'll, I'll show you what I've done. So I've done, I did my makeup. I used my, like, as always, I've always used the All Night Waterproof. So I used that, and then I used the, my Wet n Wild black, this one is shade, black shade, and this one is Mika. So I used that, I just used the black one to actually line the edges of the lip. And my eye makeup, if you're giving me a thumbs up, well, a job well done. So you can, you can obviously see what I did. I used my eyeshadow on the eyelids, and then eye pencils, white eye pencil, and black eyeliner to, for the, well, the dramatic line. So give me a thumbs up, guys. So for, the, for my eyeshadow, I used this metallic, I don't even know if it's actually metallic, but it's a green, well it's not, it's like, it's kind of greenish, like green, the, the outer part, which is much darker, is like a dark brown, it's not dark brown, it's a dark greenish color, so it's, it's really lovely, and then the inner part that I used um, here is a bluish in color, so guys, give me a very, a thumbs up for a very, a job, well done. This is my, it's my card, a uh, toy band kind of card. This is not like wrapping or anything. My sister, my older sister made the card and I just kind of um, add this wrap along with it. So if, you, I mean like we do sell them as if she sells them. So if you guys are interested in buying um, this, let me know and I will, and yes, just let me know and I will make arrangements on how it can get to you. So she made the card and I just kind of found some fabric to to and add along uh, at the back, so like if you so you have more, more more well more volume more more style to it. So you can you can definitely wear it any way you like. Anyway, this one is really long, and the gray one you can always like bring it overlap and overlap it, and because it's really really long, you can always like bring it up again, like forward again and then and then the the gray one is not too long but, but the black one is so and there you have a very well done turban style it's quick it's easy it's like the cap is already done and then like you just wrap the the hand around and you are very much good to go so i'm also going to try the hairstyle okay i can hold it i just um i just to you guys so I don't know should I should I like present a poem or should I just rant I'm not so sure like what should I but you know what I will come up with something by the end of the video I'll show you the pictures of the of my makeup right at the end Maybe I'll talk a bit about myself. Myself.
one for myself. So I um, hope you see. My name is Aisha. We stayed in Medicine Hat for about five months, and then we moved down to Calgary uh, around August. And then I started um, I started school from like grade nine, and then I finished grade nine. I started grade ten, and I finished grade uh, grade ten. Like I finished high school, and then I went on to the university to study Bachelor of Communications and a minor in Psychology. So that's a Bachelor of Arts of um, Faculty of Arts. I did co-op and well I did internship shadow were kind of co-op kind of experiences just to gain experiences in, in order to get a job like once I finished um, I graduated last year and that was in November 2017 I've always you know, I had this I had this mindset that I wanted to like um, start YouTube videos channels but since I was in high uh, since I was in um, the university, but for many reasons, I couldn't. I was like, I'm shy. I don't have the means. What I, what would I be saying? And for the longest time, I couldn't talk in front of the camera. Getting the confidence to actually um to actually come out and like uh, say anything, anything really, it was a struggle. It was a real struggle. Like since I actually came to Canada, because you know what? When I was in school back home, like in Nigeria. It's not like they're going to call call you out to come present. There's no presentation or whatsoever like that. It's just like teacher coming to class and like presenting to you whatever he or she wanted to say. There isn't anything like oh um group presentation or like you just going in front of the class. Except if you're in like a literature class where they actually like give you books or like you have like your literature books and then they just pick a random person to come read for the class. Other than that, there isn't anything like um you um like presentation or like um. Um, student just coming in front of class presenting what they have done or uh, presenting what they did to the class. So when I came here and then there's this thing called presentation and it can be like you, only you, or two people, or more than that. I remember my first time presenting to a class. It was when I was in grade 9 in medicine high. I cried the entire time. Like, I couldn't do it. Like, it wasn't like, it wasn't, I mean, like, the, the teacher the teacher just wanted someone to come up and like, because uh, it was about like writing about um, you. I mean, he told us to like write something, I like guess, about ourselves. And then after we presented to the class, so I was so after I I wrote mine, and then it was a whole would like to like come out and like say what they, whatever they say, whatever they write to the class. And I and I quickly jumped up, said, like, oh, I'll do it. And then I get I got in front of the class and I started. And by the time I read like maybe five sentences or like three sentences, I was crying. And then I cried through the entire, um, through the entire um, reading. I remember one of the, you know, I was crying. And, like my face was falling. And, like the my nose was like coming out. Because it was it was it was a disaster. And then after that, I went down and I kind of like it was horrible. So that was my first one. I mean, like I didn't. I, I didn't, we, it was like, I was so excited, I was like, oh, let's do a book present in front of this white book, and then, um, it was, but anyway, it didn't work, it, well, it worked, it, well, it worked like it didn't work out, so, um, yeah, it, it worked like it didn't work out, and then when I moved out, and then after, I don't even remember doing any other kind of presentation after that, like, except in sciences class, where we, like, do projects, and, like, build, make some light work, except that there was nothing else. And then when I got to um, Calgary, and then I started, and then and then we had to like do presentation. You know, doing presentation is not bad. Like if you have like all the groups like putting in their works, like being regular. And then for a very long time, actually my first few presentation, like it's either the people that I'm working with are just not going to do it, or like they're not in class for us to collaborate. But I mean, it was, it was fun. I mean, like the first few years was. Well, it was fun, and then by the time I got to grade 10 and grade 11, actually grade 10 and grade 11, and then after finishing um, middle school, you, grade 9, you come down to high school, and then you're always like, you know, everyone kind of dispersed, and um, every, like the people that I met back in grade 9, they all went to another school, so when I got to my own high school, it was like me and my, and only other few people that I knew, so it was actually kind of creepy to um, start making new friends, honestly, I was like, you know what, uh, um, like, it was like, and then like it was back it was back in those days where like 
cell phones are bad, and, and they not just wear their scars. So uh, I like, I mean, like I I don't I had friends back home, but I don't have their numbers because obviously back in 2008, the, I mean, like cellular, using cellular phone wasn't a wasn't very big back in like then like in like well not I well. Well, where I am from, like geographically, not everybody has cell phone. So living, and you know what, like going to school back then is not like you. They have school, like the students have cell phones. They're not allowed to. It's not like they're not allowed. I mean, they're, I mean, it's not even introduced anyway. So why would they be allowed? And even I remember back then that one person, one guy, brought us a cell phone to the school, and the lady teacher like took it away from him. Like no, and and there was this rumor going around the school back then that why would uh, the students have a cell phone when the teachers don't? So it was actually weird. And then, um, what else, what else? And then when I got to, um, so yeah, I'm um, talking about friendship. So when I got to grade 10, I didn't have cell phone. I didn't, have, you know, honestly, I, I had like that kind of mindset. The mindset, like, you know, there was actually, I think it was, it was like kind of like my kind of friend group kind of mindset that, oh, after we graduate, we're going to like, um, have more to more freedom, we're going to have cell phone and all this kind of stuff. That's what I've always talked about, talked about. But then up until then, so up until then, I hadn't any means, any means to connect with my friends back home, except on Facebook, and many of them are not really on there anyway. And even when they are, I will always be like, should I add them or should I mean like, but like some of them at then, although we lost contact, everybody would kind of went their own way. So, um, so in terms of, um, so in terms of that, so I even still when I went, so I went to um, till my high school here. I did not have a cell phone, and I actually make it like straight to myself that I will not get a cell phone until I finish. And even in fact, and even when my my parents like wanted to buy me a phone back in like I think it was grade twelve, and I was like, and I was like, no, I wanted to buy the cell phone by myself. I mean, like the, I, the kind of the responsibility kind of like uh, coming up back then. So it was. Uh, it was kind of, it was like, it was an experience. And like, you know, so, sometimes when I actually kind of think about it, because after leaving high school, I actually kind of found out that, oh my goodness, all the people that I made friends with, I didn't have their phone numbers. So there was actually no way to actually connect with them. So it was, um, it was, it was quite um, weird, and but also it was okay. And you know, for, so I was actually technologically under, I suppose, well, how do you say, technology, um, Inexperienced, like I was, like no, I I didn't know so much about like um like texting and sending uh sending messages to friends, uh, just like meeting them and like talking to them, talking to them like the hallway, saying hi to people, all those kind of stuff. And I, you know, honestly, and I think many people are like that. Um, uh, I mean, like it's not like I I wouldn't say like it's uh maybe it's some kind of privilege, but maybe it's not because I know that my sisters, my younger sisters, um they they had cell phone in on the in in high school, but then for me, for myself, I don't, and I was actually, you know, honestly, I mean, like, with a few of friends that I had and made back then, I was like, you know what, there is no, no need or any reason to actually have those kind of stuff, because, um, yeah, call me local if you want, I guess maybe, like, my three years into, into, like, the Canada country, I wasn't, like, I wasn't in the mood to be, like, you know, just like, yo, I'm, I'm, or I'm here, I'm overseas, I should be like, you know, getting into like all those kind of, um, well, being more like accepting to how like the environment around me that, um, was back then. So it was kind of like that. And honestly, it was, um, I mean, like, think it, I mean, well, I will say, like, to some level, it actually kind of, um, um, break me down a bit, not because of, um, not because of not having the cell phone, but because of like, you know what, if you share some kind of message or some kind of information with your friend and they take a picture of it and they share it with everyone, you know, you're kind of lost in the middle of like, hey, what's going on, did they send it, did they not send it, am I going to like see this, you know, if you send, if your friend take a picture of you somehow and send it out, it wouldn't obviously get to you because, well, you don't have the means of receiving this kind of message back. And, um, and so, unless you, unless of course you are very social enough, and you have like people who are who are considerate enough, enough, and nice enough for them to like share the message or what is going on around you or them to you, 
assuming that you are the focus of the composition. And then, well, so that was my experience with uh, technology in high school. I wasn't expecting it, and it, it kind of hit me, and it hit really hard. And my first cell phone was a, was a small HTC. I bought it for 150 and 50 MB, and I used that for about two years before I gave it to my sister. Because, well, the screen broke, and I needed, and, and I wanted another phone. So my second phone was uh, a Motorola, which was awesome. I mean, like that. I like that phone. The, the camera was good. The picture that I told, took on the phone was so good that I was like, yes. And then I wanted to like sync it to Google so like the, the, so I could save the picture. But unfortunately for me, I went to work one day, and exactly on my birthday, I don't know if it was like I don't know how it got stolen or maybe it got lost in the store. So on my birthday, I lost the phone and I was. So mad, and then um, did I lose any, another cell phone after that? Well, then I went back and I got another phone, and this time I got a ZTE. I used that for a while, then I gave it to my sister, and then I used, and then now I'm using my. I think it's. I mean, since since my, well, I think yeah, I think it's yeah. My fourth, my phone that I'm using now is an LG. Yes, definitely LG, and. Um, and it has been good. So since I begin my cell phone experience from my university years, HCC all the way to LG, and yeah, and I've lost one, I've broken two, which I gave to my sisters. Yeah, and then it was, um, yeah, that was actually quite everything. And then what else? Actually, that's just everything really. So that's a little bit about myself. Obviously, I can't say well, I can always say a lot back and or too much, but honestly, for now, that's what came into my mind, and that's what I'm sharing today. So thank you for listening to me. Um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and like. And I still love this makeup, guys. Like you can feel the energy and like the work, the line, the, the patience that I have to draw all this line in. So thank you, guys, and have a very lovely.